بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رمضان مبارک السلام علیکم Welcome to a series of programs on the healthy Muslim in Ramadan. My name is Dr. Annie Amina Coxon. I was born Catholic. Allah guided me to Islam around 20 years ago. I've been a doctor now for over 50 years. It has been fascinating to learn about health from the Western perspective of science with a background of Catholicism and then to change to the very rich tradition and heritage of Islam. In my journey I am learning all the time, every day, in spite of my advanced age. I would love to share this journey with you in Ramadan to help you to come to know what there is in fasting that will bring you a deeper understanding of what your body is, how you should treat it, and how this will be of great benefit to you spiritually. Your body is yours and only yours. You've only got one and you were given it at conception. It is an absolute miracle. People don't truly understand what a treasure they've been given. We have in England a great scientist called Sir Martin Rees, who is our Astronomer Royal. He got the Templeton Prize for Religion a couple of years ago which is a million pounds. It's a lot of money to get as a prize. He got this prize for pointing out that the universe, this amazing, amazing thing that we look at in the sky and take for granted, the universe has not happened by accident. That the mathematics of the universe, which he as an astronomer understands, cannot be accounted for by chaos theory and only by intelligent design. That confirms what we in faith understand that the universe was created by Allah. However, in spite of the incredible complexity of the universe and everything in it, and indeed we're talking about universes, because we now understand, as it says in the Qur'an, that there is more than one universe, but we've only learnt that in the last 50 years. Man and the complexity of man's biology makes the universe look like amateur hour. And Sir Martin has told me absolutely, he said, get people to understand that the treasure of who you are biologically is infinitely more complex and more valuable than the universe. Your body is like a Ferrari. If you can imagine giving your son a Ferrari on his 18th birthday, for God's sake, don't, because you will not understand or appreciate it. But this is what happens to us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us this amazing body and we're heedless about how important it is. If you gave your son a Ferrari and he put diesel in it and drove it too fast and never bothered to look after it, you'd be upset with him. And then you'd say, sorry, I'm not giving you another one. You're going to have to drive this clunker around for the rest of your life because we can't uh, turn it in for another one. So the human body is the same. And all our lives we, we must be intelligent and thoughtful in the way we value our greatest possession, which is ourselves. In Quran, we are given very clear instructions. One point it says, eat and drink, but not to excess. In Surat al-Baqarah it says, do not cast yourself into destruction by your own hands. Both of these surahs absolutely, I absolutely refer to 